Dick's Sporting Goods. The retailer announced it will immediately stop selling assault-style rifles. The company is also ending sales of firearms to anybody under the age of 21. Abigail Doolittle joins us now. No need to ask the impetus. You're right about that, Bonnie. Big news here out of Dick's Sporting Goods that they are banning the salt rifle sales from uh, certain stores of theirs because they actually already started banning those sales after Sandy Hook from the main Dick Sport stores. But these are from the Field and Stream uh, stores. But the CEO, Ed Stack, on the website, he has a very compelling quote, which I will read in full. We support and respect the Second Amendment, and we recognize and appreciate that the vast majority of gun owners in this country are responsible, law-abiding citizens. But we have to help solve the problem that's in front of us. Gun violence is an epidemic that's taking the lives of too many people, including the brightest hope for the future of America, our kids. So clearly this after the Parkland tragedy. And this is pretty big because there are two points to make here. First, the first part of the press release was to be expected to some degree after that tragedy, talking about how they are going to be banning the sale of those assault sty style rifle rifles, also imposing a age requirement of 21 on all firearms, among others. But the second part, uh, the company is actually imploring Congress to start restricting the sales of these assault style rifles more broadly, age requirements, mental health uh, checks. So that's really a bit of a change considering that CEO Ed Stack, he's a registered Republican, he's a gun owner. So it really shows a new open-mindedness after this Parkland, Florida tragedy. It's pretty huge. It's corporate America saying, well, Washington is a bit divided on this. The president is saying one thing, we're not getting much action out of Congress. The longer, you know, the longer past a tragedy it goes, the less of a, an incentive or the less of a, a, a purpose there is about doing anything on this. And plus, legal challenges typically fine for the Second Amendment anyway. So this is a corporate America and a, a very important part of where people buy guns, saying not just we're not selling them, to people under 21, but this massive statement. Will other companies follow suit? Well, you know, that's a great question because, of course, we have had a lot of companies ending partnerships with the NRA. Walmart banned all assault style rifles back in 2015. So there is a shift toward this. And again, Dick's mainly banned these types of guns after the Sandy Hook. Uh, tragedy back in 2012. So it seems a movement toward this. Another piece of it, Vani, could be a business decision. Their core customers are kids. So we have a lot of kids who, teenagers, uh, who are being part of this movement to uh, end the sale of assault style rifles and the use of guns. Uh, so you could say that perhaps the company is really imploring or making a move to appeal more to its core base and shunning the uh, gun customers. But again, you have to give CEO Ed Stack some kudos here. It really seems to be a move in a slightly different direction than some of his statements before. Uh, a nice open-mindedness here, uh, perhaps even refreshing in a way to have this move.